Hello everybody and welcome back to OnMod. In today's video we're going to be doing something a little bit different and asking and answering the big question, can you play Minecraft on integrated graphics? I'm going to be doing the following tests on the CPU of my computer, which is a 6-core AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor with integrated AMD Radeon graphics. The specific model of my computer is the HP NV360, the 15-inch 2019 model. Now let's jump right in and see if playing Minecraft on this type of potato PC is even possible. The loading time was sped up to 4 times speed for the sake of time of this video. These are the settings I'm playing Minecraft at. Fairly reasonable, low render distance, not very big biome blending, full screen resolution. Nothing too demanding, but nothing really bad looking either. As you might be able to tell, it is definitely possible to run Minecraft at these settings on this type of computer. If I was in the final battle with the Ender Dragon with this type of computer, I wouldn't be as hopeful because even here, not doing too much demanding things, there is still a little bit of lag and micro stutter. This face off with the polar bear though isn't too big of a deal and is definitely possible. Okay, that honestly scared me half to death. I did not expect the polar bear to be following me like that. That big jump was me fleeing the mouse everywhere. <laughs> now here is specifically what frames per second I am getting with this computer I'm playing at. I am getting barely playable frames per second, like only 30, 40 is the highest, and that's rare. So it is playable, but just barely. Now I'm going to reduce the settings, lower the render distance, graphics will be faster, just to see if I can get higher, more playable frames per second. So as I'm sure you can tell, this is pretty bad. Minecraft doesn't look very good. It's really old school, frankly kind of ugly. We are getting an improvement in frames per second, getting regularly up to 40, but it's not as big of an improvement as I thought it would be, and doesn't seem worth it for the, the visual displeasure. Now I want to just see if I can get like 60 FPS, so I'm going to make this really low and almost unplayable. So the render distance is really low here and it's almost unplayable, like if you're trying to see any distance, it's just impossible. This is like Minecraft at its very lowest. And the frames per second, better, but I'm still not regularly hitting 60 and we're just like hovering in the 40s, mid 40s. It's not too good, honestly. Now 
Now I'm changing the settings on Minecraft to more of a playable, visually pleasing look. Um, it is a little on the extreme side with some pretty decently high settings. You're going to get a really full experience with Minecraft here, and we'll see exactly how much it impacts frames per second. So this doesn't look very good at all. Obviously you can see farther and everything looks better, but the lag is terrible. I mean, when I was playing Minecraft it wasn't quite as bad. I can't, I'm not sure if you can tell, but my video editor for this did not like it and was like seriously lagging it. Now I want to see if I can actually hit 60 frames per second regularly, so I am booting up Minecraft on the old 1.12.2 edition of Minecraft. Because you know, I've been testing previous ones on 1.18.1, which has a lot of more loading to do with you know, giant caves and more demanding graphics. These are the same settings as when I was playing Minecraft on 1.18.1. .1. So we're going to have like really high render distance and very demanding graphics, but it's an older version of Minecraft, so we'll see how it holds up. Ah, the nostalgia. I used to always play Minecraft at 1.12.2 on my old PS3. So I'm setting around 30 FPS which is about a 10 FPS boost over playing at 1.18.1. .1. So with all the less caves to render and lower graphics, it's more capable. But I want to see if we can play Minecraft at 60 FPS, so I'm going to bring down the settings to the maximum low, just to see if it's possible on this old version of Minecraft. Well here we have it, this is 1.12.2 Minecraft, the lowest render distance, terrible graphics, and we are regularly hitting just at 60 FPS, which is considered the golden zone for frames per second. And really, for all this work to make Minecraft look terrible, render distance to be bad, old version of Minecraft, and just with all that to be able just to get 60 FPS, it's pretty pathetic, especially for my computer. Now I'm loading up complementary shaders just to see what the big impact is on frames per second and see if it is playable at all, but I'm not too hopeful. As I expected pretty much, we are getting completely unplayable frames per second, like 8, 12, 5 at the lowest, but sure, Minecraft looks beautiful with these, but it's just, it's unplayable. You need a gaming computer to be able to handle really graphically intensive tasks, and integrated graphics just can't handle it. So from these tests, this is the conclusion on integrated graphics. If you want 60 FPS, play older versions of Minecraft at lowest visual settings and lowest render distance. If you don't mind 30 FPS, you can play the newest versions of Minecraft, but only at low graphical settings and low render distance. If you want high FPS, if you want to play competitively or with friends, if you want to run shaders, or if you like high render distances, you'll have to get a dedicated GPU or a gaming computer with one. You can run Minecraft on integrated graphics, but just barely. Maybe more newer integrated graphics can handle it better, but really, Minecraft is getting a lot more demanding. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.